So, this was it. Stinky old fish meth. Smell-wise, it was probably the fishery I'd just come from times a thousand. I was blending in like a professional and itching to sink my teeth into whatever fish meth had to offer. Except the local food. Oh, an open barrel. Whoever could resist the primal urge to peek into its dark recess. It's dark inside, but I could just reach into it. I couldn't bear the tension anymore. I had to reach inside. Don't eat it, fool! It's rotten! Throw it away! I've got... a rotten egg? Well, I can't smell it anyway. I, I guess I'll keep it. And a name tag, Randolph. Hey, it's a door blocking my access to who knows where. Looks sturdy and locked. I don't even want to know what's going on inside there. Hello there. Go away. So I uh, take it you don't participate in the festival? Go away. That's that, I guess. A couple of these lunatics pushing and shoving each other. Why am I not surprised? Looks like a stalemate to me. I don't want to know. Not interested. I have no idea why she's doing that, but it's uh, kind of fun to watch. Okay, I should snap out of it. I'm not curious. I don't want to break her concentration. That's uh, one way of approaching literature, I guess. Whatever those books are, he's really beaten them into his head. I have to admire the guy's persistence. You will learn the rituals in time for the festival, or else! He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit-chat. Well, this is just... I don't even want to know. Seriously, I don't want to know. I'm pretty sure I would regret doing that. Really, really not interested in what he has to say. A welcoming-looking couple of local residents, I'm sure. Gotta say, they're pretty picturesque. It's like they're uh, posing for a picture. Ah, No need. I can just talk to them. Greetings, uh, uh, brother and sister. Hello, and welcome to the festival, fellow believer. Forget all your worries and praise they're gone. But I compliment you on your smell, brother. Oh, uh, thanks. Just a uh, curiosity. Is it the socks? Uh, yeah, okay. It's the socks. That's what I thought. Enjoy the festival. Got no time to chit chat. Got a goddamn streets. Have fun now, you hear? Other than the expected seafood, I detect a nice, healthy addition of carrots to his diet. He's really letting her rip. Uh, it's really coming down. Uh, one more isn't going to kill me. Everything okay up there? All right, then. This chick doesn't seem phased by the regurgitation onslaught going on behind her. Pretty chill gal, apparently. She's just like, who cares, man? I can dig that.
Greetings, sister. Are you not bothered by the, uh, the adjacent vomiting? Zishta, zidaraku, zibelurduk, kanpa, yashta, kanpa, ya. Yeah, it is a shame about the economy, but what are you gonna do? Oil's leaked out of the abandoned truck into a big, slimy puddle. Oily. I know this puddle's history. It came from uh, that truck there. Think I need a container. Someone's really enjoying themselves up there. That's abnormal levels of joy right there. I don't care enough to find out. I got nothing to say. An incredibly beat up car, desolately leaning on the sidewalk. It's another voodoo guy by the looks of it. This one doesn't look as friendly. Hello there, brother. Uwangba, Papa Lengba. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I had no idea. These fellas here are really into their dubious book. That guy's really passionate about Father Dagon. He's also got a problem with ending his sentences. And he's also blocking my way into the Finman house. I've gotta find a way to cut his speech short. They gon' judge me! They gon' judge me! I've had enough of dubious books for a lifetime. Nemo Curious, Lord of the Subtle Arts, open the gate to the sphere of thy sphere! Nemo Curious, Master of the Chemical Science, open the gate to the sphere of thy workings! Ne I'll just not bother them this time. Oh, hey, it's a lady cultist. She's really into some kind of ritualish stuff. Evening, madam. Mashrita nanazia kampa. Yamag. Yagamag. Yazagastena kia. Ashtakaralyosh. Couldn't have said it better myself. You have yourself a peaceful night now. It's a bearded cultist hanging out by that trash can. Looks to be the intellectual type. Never a good boy, Randolph, is he? Is he? Uh, evening, brother. Hello. Anything else? Guess not. Later. It was a lonely trash can on a badly lit portion of road, and for some reason, it really caught my eye. Why was this trash can so appealing to me? I'm more interested in its present. I guess stinking horribly yourself negates the downsides of rummaging through trash. So, here I go. Oh, got a really rotten egg. Oh yeah, squishy goodness. And, uh, 
a boot. Okay. That crowbar is just resting against the truck, minding its own business. Kinda looking like something I could use, maybe. Crowbar ain't gonna fix this thing, Milton. Leave her. You're mine. Brother Jan, he joined our elite gatekeeping squad recently. Just like these other brothers, he's taken a vow of silence. But as you can see, he's still rocking out. Internally, as it were. Look, this guy is talked that before joining the ranks and ascending to elite status, he was one of them rock guitarists. One gig, he's supposed to have downed a case of energy drinks all by himself. People are still afraid to talk about what happened next. What's for sure is that he found his true calling now. I tell you that. Father Dagon accepts all who turn their eye toward him. And that's that. Rock guitarist or not. Rockin' for Dagon, as it were. Let's not and say we did. Brother Jan's part of my elite squad that's taken a vow of silence. That's Brother David, a member of my elite squad of gatekeepers. Not much is known about him. This guy truly is a mystery. Don't let the angelic smile in the curls fool you. Brother David is as unpredictable as he is innocent looking. Tell you the truth, I'm a little jumpy around him myself, you know? That cat on his robe, though. Oh, just look at that cat. Just look at it. I'm talking serious. Just look at that cat. That cat is king. Let's not and say we did. No point in talking to Brother David. He took a vow of silence when he joined our elite ranks. That's Brother Matthew, one of our elite gatekeepers. He joined after searching for a way to unlock the secrets of influence in the universe. Crazy stuff. Anyway, it led him to Fishmouth, and now, ha, well, he holds a secret of his own. This guy traveled all over the place, and the things he's seen. I'm telling you, he's been places. Look, between you and me, it was better off not even thinking about Brother Matthew. I'm serious now. Just stay away from Brother Matthew. Trust me on this one, all right? Let's not. No point in that. Part of the elite squad deal. That right there is Brother Aelin. He hails from Transylvania, Romania. Came a long way to join our elite forces, that's for sure. Well, we don't know too much about him. Guy kept to himself even before the vow of silence. But apparently he grew up on Mount Redizat, and he's an expert skier and mountain climber. It's kind of weird talking about him like they ain't here, but <laughs> they can't speak themselves, so... Anyway, Brother Aelin's a valuable asset. To be honest, I'm kind of feeling very relaxed around this guy. Which is not what you want to be when you serve Dagon, eh? But, gatekeeper's gonna gatekeep. We hit it to a job, and that's that. You're wasting your breath. Brother Aelin is part of the elite squad, and that means vow of silence. Seems to be the guy in charge of these guards. 
Oh, wise guy type. He doesn't strike me as easy to deal with. Let's not and say we did. Evening, uh, brothers. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Just seeking passage into the uh, derelict industrial premises you're currently eclipsing. Don't come here wasting my time, you hear? I want to get inside of the abandoned factory behind you, brother. Just say so, huh? So are you, Malusco? You're darn tootin' I'm Malusco. Oh yeah? Good! Chief Piovera specifically said don't let Malusco in. Forget about it! Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. This guy don't know who he is! Amateurs! You say, uh, Father Dagon and uh, Mother Hydra are our, uh, Role models? They are our role models! And it has never been uh, clearer that uh, with their help, we shall never, uh, Oh, you say, uh, Father Dagon and uh, Mother Hydra are uh, our, uh... Role models? They are our role models! And it has never been uh, clearer that uh, with their help, we shall never, uh... Surrender? We shall never surrender to uh, any kind of adversity or know any uh, other gods. Look around, uh, brothers. Cast your eyes on a person uh, next to you. What do you see? Well, I see a group of... Uh... True believers? A group of true believers like I've n never seen before. And our, our numbers are always rising. Make no, no, no mistake. Our endeavor is a... Uh... Historical achievement? Our endeavor is a historical achievement. Fear us. Uh, world, uh, take a good, uh, hard look at us, uh, for we shall bring nothing but, uh, but, um... Mayhem and despair? Mayhem and despair to your doorstep! We are the next, uh, uh, in line for, um... Well, that didn't work. That is the definition of rear window. Looks like there's dozens of crazy cultists packed in there somehow. The food in there must be really good. I don't think I want to. We're full. Go somewhere else. Stop pushing. Ew, I thought I knew rotten eggs. This one takes it to the next level. Horrid. 
don't let them go bad, you hear? I'm picking it up. Oh, God, I'm actually doing it. Oh. This bozo's out cold, feet in the air, underwear flying in the wind. Disgraceful. He also dropped all his eggs. He must have been out for a long time. Those cracked eggs around him reek. Never put all your eggs in one basket. Although, if you drop them, no difference really. I mean, don't drink like a fish again. The eggs need to be there in time for the ritual. I'm gonna let him get his rest. I'm pretty sure that's Gustav. Yep, that's Gustav. Yeah, believe me, it's Gustav. Gustav! Hey up there. Gustav! This baby ain't sailing anywhere ever again. How do you mess up this bad? Hot diggity, what a mess. Gustav! No! Dead in the water. The creepy, horn-shaped reef is giving me the chills. And what are... What are those loons up to over there? Marching around like crazy people with their torches. What am I talking about? They are crazy people. That's where it all began. That cursed place of all wickedness where the deep water starts. Gator Hill. She dropped down to a bottom no solid line can tick. It's a non-festive looking dude, just chilling over there. He looks really out of place here. It's a... Man, I love Azanath. Man, I love her. Evening, sir. No offense, but you don't really look like you belong here. Oh, hey there, Padre. Yeah, no, I'm kind of visiting only. I thought they didn't let visitors in during the festival. Depends on who you're with, bro. My wife's a regular. We're here on our honeymoon. Interesting choice for a honeymoon. Yeah, well, sort of a goodbye to the old way of living on her part, as an F, I mean. Then we're totally changing our lives around. Oh? Is she around? She's in there, getting some fish and chips for us. Ugh, not partial to fish myself. Then what the heck are you here for, dude? <laughs> but yeah, I ain't crazy about him either. But hey, when in Fishmouth, you know, we're splashing out into like a debauchery sort of deal while we're here. And then, we're totally changing our lives around. You mentioned changing your lives around. Yup, we're going vegan, baby. Oh, that's uh, nice, I guess. Concerned about uh, animal welfare and the environment, huh? Uh, yeah, that too, kind of. It's just, it's the end thing to be, you know? But we'll see how that goes, you never know. We might just go back to steaks afterwards. Isn't that a bit hypocritical? Going from vegan to meat eater? You just go from being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat to being a preachy jerk who judges everyone for what they eat. Works both ways. The beauty of symmetry, bro. Although... Yeah? Makes you think, you know. Sometimes I just sit and wonder, what gives us the right to kill and eat other beings just because they ain't human, you know? 
because they can't reason like we do. So what? Doesn't take reasoning to know you don't feel like being gutted and eaten. No, I'm saying. That went dark all of a sudden. You telling me you never consider these things? An almost lifelong diet of steaks and cold hot dogs is a hard thing to leave behind, I guess, but, uh, yeah, you know, they sort of make an interesting point there. Yeah, I think it's absolutely worth discussing these issues, you know? But discussing takes a lot of energy, and me myself, I'm famished. Now where's Azanath with those fish and chips, though? You know anything about a guy called the Butcher? Butcher? Unless he's in there preparing my fish and chips. Nah, dude. Nice to see someone happily married. Didn't get to experience that yourself, bro? Me? Happily? Huh. No. But, uh, I'm glad it worked for you. Yeah, man, me too. You know what I love about Azanath? She's not one of those all up in your business wives, you know? She ain't about, I don't know, taking my life over. That's nice. Yeah, I love that she gives me my personal space. What else do you like about your wife? She just lets me be me. That's major. Anything, uh, anything else you like about your wife? She's not possessive. I'd hate that. What else do you like about your wife? She loves being herself, and leaving my life, and my time to myself. Tell me another thing you like about her. You know what? This conversation's getting a bit weird, and I'm too hungry for it. Ah, right. Sorry. Hey, what's with the passed out guy with the eggs? I don't know, dude. It's sort of gross, but at the same time, he's kind of ruining my appetite. Which is cool, though, because I've been waiting on my fish and chips forever. Yeah, he's out cold. Guess his eggs are free for the taking. I guess so, man, if that's your kind of thing. It's cool, bro, seriously. I'm not judging. Yeah, thanks. It means a lot. All right, man. I'll, uh, I'll let you wait for your meal in peace. Enjoy the festival, Brosif. And don't indulge too much, you hear? <laughs> Some kind of... I don't even know how to describe it. It's going on far in the water. Next to the reef. It's like a bubbly mess of swimming cultists, but... It's hard to make out in the darkness. Looks like schools of piranhas viciously squirming around. Except it's humans. It is time! Brothers! It is time! I'm not going anywhere near them. It looks like he's guarding whatever insanity's going down in the water. Jeez. Glad I'm not standing where he is. Say it down and watch him take to the water. Yeah! Yeah! Father Dagon, take them in his arms! I'm leaving him alone. This weirdo is really interested in what's going on in the distance. I can't blame him. What the hell are those lunatics up to over there? You ain't ready for the water yet, Eustace. Don't want nothing to do with him. <laughs> 